Hello guys, this week's vlog is a bit different. There's not a hospital in sight. We're going on holiday to Egypt. If you're new to my channel, then hi, welcome, I'm Sarah. I'm a doctor in the UK and I make videos about my life and work as a doctor and also what I get up to in my free time. I've been working lots of long shifts recently and I was absolutely craving some time off. So we took this week to come to Egypt and I thought I would share the journey with you. If you guys like what you see, then have a look at my playlists. I've got loads more videos about my life as a doctor and don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content. Yeah, go for it. Oh my god! <laughs> I feel like this might end in a trip to uh, see the doctors. <laughs> so we've had a nice day relaxing in the sun, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> I was just breathing heavily from the sliding. <laughs> All right. Okay. And now we're going to go and check out the gym. Here is my little gym outfit. I've got this top which has got a sports bra built in which is super handy for holiday. It means less things to pack and remember. And I've just got on some turquoise Nike shorts. I'll link everything in the description box below. So after a very taxing day of relaxing in the sunshine and enjoying the gym, we are going to go out for dinner. This is my outfit of the evening. I've got these red sandals on, which I got from ASOS. They've got a gorgeous block heel and I love the tie at the ankle. Then I have these red shorts on, which I bought on eBay, but they are from New Look originally and they're really stretchy, so I love them for dinners. Then I've got this high neck body on from ASOS and because it's a bit chilly, I've put on this denim jacket, which I've just tied at the waist. I'm wearing my hair in a side plait and I've got these statement earrings on from Accessorize. So I'm really sorry about the lighting in here, but hopefully you can get the gist of my outfit. Good morning, it's the next day now and here's my outfit of the day. I've got a crop top on, I've got my bikini underneath and I've got my hair in the same style I had in yesterday, I just slept in it. Some of Ryland sunglasses and these shorts are from Primark. And these are some sort of like wedge flip-flops that I got from TK Maxx. So last night we went out for a really long walk. We walked along the main road and there were loads of like little shops and the whole way along people were pestering us, trying to get us to come into their shops, kind of grabbing you by the hand and trying to lead you in. And it was really exhausting. But, but we did make friends with two dogs that followed us for about a mile, which was quite sweet. But anyway, today we're gonna go wakeboarding. Um, Vince is into wakeboarding, which is basically like water skiing, but you're on something a bit more like a snowboard. So yeah, gonna drive about 30 kilometers from here today. And luckily for me, it's got a nice pool and a couple of sun lounges, so I'm just gonna sit and chill out. Well, that was a really fun day. I really love watching Vince wakeboard and it's a nice chance for me to just kind of sit at the edge of the pool and enjoy relaxing and not having to be anywhere or do anything. So we're ready to go out for dinner now and this is what I'm wearing. So this is my outfit for the evening. I've got this body on, which is like a nude body, high neck from ASOS and it's so comfortable. And for any of you tall girls out there, it fits like a dream. Then I have these accessorized earrings again. And I've done my hair in like a twisty ponytail. This lipstick color, I can't really show you very well in this lighting, this lighting is awful, but it's a soft matte. It's a soft matte lip cream from NYX in the shade Can. 
and I really love this colour because I just think it's really natural and subtle. For shoes, I've got these really comfy Clark's wedges. They're kind of a lace-up design at the front and I love the nude colour of them. They're a nice heel height as well and very comfortable. Then I have these white culottes on, which if you've seen any of my other style videos, you will have seen me wearing before. I have this ASOS body, which I've already showed you. And then for my earrings, I have these accessorized resin uh, earrings. And I love these because they've got beautiful colors in them. And because they're resin, they're just quite light and they don't drag your ears down. So overall, I think this outfit is quite chic and I'm going with that whole neutral vibe. <laughs> Saturday morning, it's about 10 a.m. We've had a massive lion today. We didn't sleep well last night, it's really windy, and our French doors kept blowing, so it sounded like someone was trying to get in the room. So it was a bit, um, yeah, we just didn't sleep that well. Can you see all the palm trees blowing? And it's really cloudy. I don't know why, but we're always that couple who arrives to the breakfast at the very last minute and we just rush in and grab what we can. Anyone else do that? First I'm having some fruit, some yoghurt with a bit of muesli, some grapefruit and a veggie omelette. So Vince and I have got an ongoing debate about how he wears his hat and I would love for you guys to tell us which way does he wear it best. So this is how I like to wear my hat. And Sarah, with the ears tucked in. With the ears tucked in and Sarah always gets annoyed <laughs> and this is the right way of doing it. And she always goes, you need to stick your ears out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so just to say that I, this is not the way that you're supposed to wear a hat. <laughs> That's not how I try and make you wear it. Like that. Right, so I'm, I'm barely wearing it on my head. What about down at the back a bit? I mean... I it's because you've got a tiny little pea head. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's going to be a storm. Let's have a look. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is my outfit today. I've got on a jumper because it's a little bit nippy outside with the wind and underneath I've got a strapless leopard print top which is from H&M. I've got these little shorts. Some really comfy sandals from Clark's. They gave me blisters the other day, but that's because we walked 14 <laughs> kilometers in them. <laughs> uh, we've just come out for a walk and uh, Sarah's foot has uh, started hurting. It's been rubbing on her shoe. Uh, so I've come up with an ingenious solution. Outfit of the day? <laughs> my sock. This morning I uploaded my spring lookbook video for you guys so if you haven't watched that already I'll link it up above here or here I can never remember which side it's on but yeah I really enjoyed filming that so let me know if you want to see more videos like that I might do like a I don't know a summer lookbook or a holiday lookbook. We took a tour of the whole city this day we had an uber driver who just drove us around and showed us all of his favorite places it was so interesting. trousers on because we went to go and visit a mosque and Vince is wearing his usual get up. Yeah.
so this is my outfit of the night I've got these red earrings these are from H&M and then I've got this dress which I bought on ASOS it's got a cute little ruffle detail along the hem and I've got that on with some wedge heels which are from Clark are you hungry? yeah like a hippo hungry hippo yeah me too <laughs> One thing I've had to get used to with going out with Vince is how hyperactive he is. <laughs> <laughs> tennis. Sun's shining. Got this guy with me. What you guys don't know about me is that I am incredibly uncoordinated and this guy who plays a lot of racket sports so I think it's going to be an interesting game. It's going to uh, be uh, can we manage a two shot rally. In fact I've been impressed with one shot rally. <laughs> Right, so my main aim is to actually hit the ball. I think last time I played tennis was uh, back in high school when I managed to knock the ball over the fence and into the biology labs. What do you think of my skills? Uh, where did you leave them? <laughs> <laughs> very skillful, very skillful. I basically, I think that what I lack in skill, I, I make up for in enthusiasm. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm lucky you're a better doctor than tennis player because I'd want <laughs> a lot more skill and less enthusiasm. So yesterday was quite cold, wasn't it? It was like properly windy. <laughs> Vince was like, oh, we should go in the pool. And I was like, I'm too cold. I just want to sit on the edge. So I was sat on the edge wrapped up in a towel and Vince was brave enough to plunge into the pool. Ready, Vince? <laughs> Here he goes. not overly sunny today. Got the sun kind of trying to peek through the clouds. How is it? Float to live. <laughs> Float to live. <laughs> nice and warm then. Let me know if you need rescuing. <laughs> and he was swimming around and one of the lifeguards came over to him and was like, mate, why don't you come down this end? It's warmer. <laughs> it turns out that the pool that I'd been swimming in the whole time uh, <laughs> It's cold. And it was like, the, the one place in the whole in the whole hotel where it's it. not it's heated. It's not heated. It's the not heated <laughs> pool. And I was like, oh, I wonder why no one's in here. <laughs> so this is tonight's uh, outfit. Ignore my chipped nails from too much too much swimming today. So I've got on this body from ASOS, which has got this lovely bardo neckline. Again, same accessorized earrings, and then these jazzy little numbers. And I love these because they. Uh, They've got little ruffles at their bottom and they flap about when you walk. <laughs> I don't know if flap about is the right word, but it's what we're going with. Hello, so we are going to give you a little tour of our hotel. And this morning we went down the water slides, didn't we? Yeah. We went in one of those like double inflatable Rings. donut things. It was really good fun. Yeah, absolutely. And there'll be a video linked here. <laughs> one pool. The Lazy River. Oh, we haven't played water polo. I think, I think we might be about 25 years too old for it. <laughs> the main reason we chose this hotel is because it has 17 swimming pools and it also has loads of slides and rides. So yeah, we are big kids, but it was super fun. Well, one of the restaurants and then more pools. I can tell I'm getting really old because I have such an appreciation for things like this. It doors. No, the plants around it. It makes me really happy. Another pool. Another pool. 
I like this one. And nighttime is all lit up with blue lights and it looks so pretty. But it's also not heated. <laughs> yeah. Another pool, which has got like a fake beach, and another pool. <laughs> There was one really good thing about it being so windy and that was that Vince got to try kite surfing. It's our last night, last night on holiday. And I'm feeling so relaxed and chilled out from this whole experience that I haven't even bothered to put any makeup on. Normally I'm one of those people who will get really dressed up for it, but not tonight. In fact, I've been so relaxed about it, I haven't even put my contact lenses in. How are you feeling at the end of our holiday? Uh, I'm relaxed. I'm uh, certainly not looking forward to going back up. <laughs> yeah. I know, me neither. The main thing I'm not looking forward to is being cold. <laughs> so, so, no change there. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting my new job on Wednesday, which is the morning after the night we get back. I'm starting in neurosurgery, so I'm quite nervous about that actually. Hi. Time to go home. Oh, it's not a picture. Oh. It's a video. Of you looking dashing. <laughs> Oh, so it's time to go home, time to go back to the real world and for me to start my job as a neurosurgery F2. I've already linked one video about what I get up to as a neurosurgery doctor, so have a look at my playlist if you want to see more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos. Bye.